Welcome back, peeps. Second to fit tuning in the Banner Brew Rose channel, where we're always taking a look at the newest tips and tricks in the Call of Duty universe. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what is the best starting gun for you to drop into the game, get that gun immediately, level it up, and get some good kills and get some leveling up. All right. There is not that many choices in here because Call of Duty Cold War decided not to put that many weapons. But again, I will be showing you the best loadout for this and the best attachments to put, and all those things will be in today's video. All right, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. It deeply helps me out a lot because if you guys didn't know, 91% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed yet. So if you do, I would deeply, deeply appreciate it. And with that being said, let's jump right into this video. So as I said in the beginning, there's not really that many classes, that many guns that you can choose. But when I start about beginning gun, it's usually the first two guns. You know, obviously this is maybe if you just got the game and you want to level up and you want to get some nice kills, what is the best things to use? Again, this is a loader, so we'll be talking about the best perks to use. As you guys can see, I'm level 36 only. So now I'm going to be talking about the FFR or, or all those weapons, all right? So I did try a couple of them. You know, I tried the XM4 and it's good, but the best of the best of the best not talking about the mp5 because this would be a pretty pointless video if i just said you know jump in and use the mp5 because that's the best gun ever again it's not going to be about the mp5 it is going to be the tactical rifle the m16 all right now let me just get to it all right i was using the light machine gun because i was like you know probably the best starting gun would be maybe a gun that doesn't have that much recoil and has a lot of bullets and i tried using the stoner 63 as you guys can see i did get it to level 30. um and the problem was i just noticed that people were outgunning me every single time that we're using the m16 and i didn't realize why and i went ahead and used it and i was like oh damn this is why the m16 is just always a two burst gun like you always kill in two bursts sometimes even one burst but the m16 just doesn't move at all so let's Let's jump into that class setup again for close range the mp5 is still the king i'm not saying about that but i'll show you why the mp5 you can go without the mp5 so let's jump into my class setup so i got the m16 right here and as you guys can see i don't have everything unlocked but i do have quite a bit of the things unlocked and um this, this is the things that i put for the um optic i do think that the vision 2.2 uh, two times is probably one of the best scopes in the game i love this gun uh the other red dot size i don't know why but they, I, I just don't feel them and then three times or four times just a little bit too much and i just feel this two times is honestly one of the best uh uh, in, in the game and if you guys didn't know if you're in the attachment page uh on the, you you hit r1 once and then you can go into reticles and then you can change the way your reticles uh look so you can go ahead and switch them up just if you guys didn't know and you can also use the zombies reticles in here which is something pretty cool as well now let's go into the next uh the other one i i again for the beginning starting class a little because you're still getting used to the movement you're getting used to shooting and all that kind of stuff i usually go with full recoil control in my class setups even though there, the, the recoil just doesn't exist in this game but for the muzzle if you have it unlocked uh, i'm gonna go with this one the infantry compensator again giving me 25 percent vertical recoil control if you don't have it then use the first one the muzzle brick for the barrel i'm still using the first one that rapid fire uh the other one has more rapid fire but it does take some of that effective damage range away so again that first barrel is probably one of the best ones shooting with this gun quick is something that you want especially with a burst for the body uh the one i used the most was the steady the aim laser and then once i unlocked it i went in ahead and used this one the sof target recognition so i still don't know exactly how these work but i i am getting the idea and from what i've seen and playing the game is that when you're aiming down sight you'll see your enemy like the uh what's it called like like their uh their health bar and their name a lot easier uh kind of like how scout works in um as a perk in modern warfare i believe that's exactly how it works for the other barrel, i still have the same one the front grip i uh, gives me 30 percent horizontal recoil control as you guys can see now the other one gives me recoil control this gun is fairly quick so i don't really put any any speed to it uh then i got a bunch of ammo and, and stuff here and i will be putting this one right here the first one uh because it gives me 50 percent magazine ammo capacity 50 percent max uh, max starting ammo capacity all that and it only takes 10 percent reload quickness all these other ones take um reload quickness and aim down size and this one takes aim down size so you don't want none of that 
the first one is going to be doing pretty good then for this one i do have the 30 percent uh 10 percent aims uh, aimed on sight speed time which is pretty good the problem is uh, usually sometimes people like to use the drop the drop shot wrap but i just don't feel i am drop shotting that much with this m16 it is a tactical rifle so you aren't i don't know i just don't feel like I, you you drop shot with with uh with three shot weapons if you want you can slap that in but i don't really feel it's the need to and then for the uh stock i use the tactical stock because i like to be moving quick while i'm aiming and look at that it is an insane 65 percent. that number is huge that number is ridiculous so go ahead and slap that on the way you get all these attachments like uh you know i got all seven or what is it one two three four five six seven eight attachments actually is you go to the wild uh, to the wild card so in the wild cards the gunfighter is something you unlock at a layer level uh, it's not that beginning i would say if it's beginning um i would just select um uh, i would really select lawbreaker i would select danger close which gives me an extra lethal and tactical thrown equipment once you unlock gunfighter they go ahead and select select this one which will unlock you three additional attachment slots on your primary weapon you don't really need lawbreaker because for this second one you can now use shotguns in your uh, game so you can use pistols shotguns launchers melee and the special noob tube one but shotguns is probably one of the best ones uh, a lot of people like to use this one uh, the gallo you, you can use whichever one i just use the, the hower because it was the first one and again we're talking about a starting class loadout so go ahead and use uh the hower for this one and yeah for the tacticals i i use the stim shot i really think stim shots is one of the most important ones it, it was it was in here in in black ops but um that's when the, the stim shot started and i do think it's really really important and again it takes 11 shots to recharge so you can get 11 seconds to recharge so you can get a couple of these uh, while you're playing in the game i just think stim shots are really 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 effective and then for the lethal go ahead and switch it up to semtex once you change the frag i would say c4 but once you get the semtex semtex is probably going to be one of the best ones uh then for the field upgrades uh, the field bike is probably one of the best ones and again this is a starting class setup once you get a little bit more advanced a cell pack is actually really really good um not only because obviously you get more ammo of it but with the assault pack it gives you basically 1.5 uh extra bonus score when you kill somebody so let's say you get 100 points when you kill somebody with the assault pack you get your normal 100 plus 50 extra points or if you are playing in a dirty bomb you get 50 points for an elimination plus 25 so it is pretty good honestly you you get a lot of points with the assault pack just for extra so you can level up insanely fast using the assault pack which is something pretty good and then for the perk 3 um usually between these two i didn't use engineer i was using paranoia which gives you like that yellowish green when somebody's aiming at you which is pretty cool then once you get flag jacket i use flag jacket because everybody likes to throw grenades in this game for the perk 2 i like to use gearhead which reduces the field upgrade cooldown and you can store up to two field upgrades so you can have like two field mics in the game which is pretty damn op and scavenger you don't need it again because you have that other uh field upgrade and then quartermaster i don't really use it assassin not really and then for the perk three usually between these two i would go with gun ho at the beginning then once i unlock cold blooded this is the one i was using because again i play it all a dirty bomb and there's a lot of kill streaks all over the place uh so that is kind of what i use yeah that is basically the best starting loadout to get yourself into the game get yourself some kills and yeah jump into the game and, and i've been using this got this class setup right now and i'm level 36 and i've been smoking some people uh if you can see right now my combat record what is it? i'm at a 2.78 kd you can see it on the top right hand side so doing pretty good um but yeah um this is the game mode that i play this gun is really really good for dirty bomb i love dirty bomb if you guys haven't played it it's kind of like a plunder from war zone but i honestly think this one's a lot better i think this one's really good for quick play you can still use the m16 but i would say it's a little bit more for the bigger maps if you are going to be pushing a lot of people then a jump with that mp5 but yeah that was basically it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy my first real video of call of duty cold war let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like to see anything else peace out everybody oh shit Oh shit. Fucking yeah, chopper gunner. Got that bitch. Bro, that thing where you can have like 1 million fucking attachments on your gun is fucking OP. I got ammo up here if y'all want some. You'll get extra points if you kill with that.
Where do you got guys around you guys? I see him. He down. He down. He dead. Another one on the other roof. I got him. You got guys behind you. Nice shit. Slick. You got a guy in front of you. Six, uh, Six, 65. I got him. He dead. Another one coming up in front of you. He dead. We got people on the uh, ridge, 120. Oh, what the shit is that, bro? What the shit's that thing you put down? Uh, still the shit, bro. Enemy fire team is down. Watch got him up. Got another down. Bro, this fucking M16 is retarded. I got another assault pack up here if y'all want some ammo. Uh, where do y'all want to roll now? We gotta get probably into a car, or do y'all want to go E? Let's go E. It's 180 meters, closest yeah, one. Oh, oh shit, oh, I see him, I see him behind us. Yep. He's down. There's another one out right in front of us. I see him. He dead. Where'd I get you? Where'd I get you? Oh shit, bro. Come in here, come in here. Watch out, man. I hear him. Got him. Let's get the fuck out of here. What's your name? Huckton? Detected. People behind us, well, not sure where exactly. You see any motherfuckers around here? You get some self res, you got a self res right behind you. You want it? Where do you want to go to? Uh, let's go with Alright. Spawn on us, spawn on us. We got we got lots of enemies all over the place here. Easy kills right now, man. I'm on E. Got a guy right in front of you. I see him. I got him, got him, got him. I'll cover, I'll cover. Guy in front of us. He's almost dead. He's right there, I'm ping. Purple ping. He dead. Oh, they got a fucking sentry gun. We got people in front of us, 60. Alright, watch out. We got, we got a shit ton of people, bro. I'm covering you, man. Artillery inbound. Shouldn't have some kind of cover. Should we got guys to our right as well? Good work. Arm. Nice shit. Get the fuck out of here. I'm full. I'm full on fucking whatever it's called. I see a guy outside your house. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Houston. Watch, watch out, man. Watch out. Yes, 
Where do I want to go now? Don't see him. He's on the top. He's on the top. Ooh, nice shit, bro. Oh, where the fuck you want to go now? Shit. Oh, shit, bro. There's a lot of people here. Shit, yeah. There is a... Just got detonated. We're about to detonate. Radiation exposure increasing. Fuck. Right now. They're real. We gotta go, man. Heads up. Your radiation levels are now considered harmful. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Bro, they are all over the place, man. Oh shit, they're fucking firing snipers at me. No recoil. Not sure where. Bro, this game has no recoil. Like, not a single fucking gun in this game's got recoil. It's retarded. Watch the buggy behind us. Container tagged. Where do I want to go? Alright, we all spawn in. Wait, get your armor packs. So you guys can get uh, more put points. Down, put down, put down, build. Knock him on the side. Left to the right. Too damn close. Nice shit. Oh, we got more people. We got more people here. Guys, Knock. Another guy. He's lit. Oh, Mind the line of line us. 325. I'm pushing in with you guys. Oh. Alright, cool. There's a bunch of uranium in here. Dude. Closest one. E -E. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get that shit. Oh, oh somebody just dropped that snowmobile. Snowmobile behind us. Oh, get one plant on the roof. Back now. Back now. Shit. He's fucking lit, he's fucking lit. Fuck. He fucking got me. Now I was trying to get the brass on you. Going in. All right. That's a more group. Oh, get ahead. Oh, you wrong. Guys, spawn together. There's a motherfucker sitting away out here in the fucking tree, bro. Fuck. Sit rep. Napalm strike inbound. Fucking shit, bro. You are all out here, Clayton. Yeah, uh, we gotta get in the house. Everybody's gonna be shooting at us from the outside. She, bro. There's people in the street line in front of me somewhere. Oh, motherfucker right in front of you. There's two guys. Yep. They're dead. They're oh, there's one. Here. Down. Watch out, another guy. Back. He oh. dead. I got a... Uh, Ammo pack behind you guys, if you guys want it. No, right here, right here, close. Whole team up, up, up. whole team up here. Supply drop deployment underway. And A? To a bomb site. Where are you guys pushing, A or uh, E? E. Enemy oh, yeah. coming. Right. Fucking roof! Oh my fucking god! I don't even know how I got him. Where is he? Where is he? Ah, uh, he did. Now. 